Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here in Apple has just released the very first macOS Ventura RSR Rapid Security Response Update. This is a brand new security system that Apple implemented in macOS Ventura. And in this video, we're going to go over everything that you're going to need to know about this update, along with showing you a live demo on how to install the update and show you what it looks like on an unsupported Mac with OpenCore Legacy Patcher, and even show you what happens if you try to install it on an unsupported machine. So we got a lot to cover in this video. Let's jump in and get started. Along with the macOS Ventura 13.3.1a rapid security response update. Apple also released a RSR for iOS 16.4.1a and iPad OS 16.4.1a. So if you have those devices, you should see that show up in software update. Now let's start at the very beginning. What is a rapid security response update? A rapid security response update is a new type of software update release for iPhone, iPad, and Mac. They deliver important security improvements between software updates. For example, improvements to the Safari web browser, the WebKit framework stack, and other critical system libraries. They also may be used to mitigate some security issues more quickly, such as issues that might have been exploited or reported to exist in the wild. The idea here is that Apple normally has the software update system from when it updates come out from the very first update, for example, Mac OS 13.0.1, released in the fall, the very first version, all the way to the end of updates once the new operating system system like Mac OS 14 comes out in the fall of the next year. Then it goes into security update mode. Instead of waiting for those bigger point release updates like 13.4, Apple can resolve security vulnerabilities that are high impact really quickly and immediately. If you want a deeper dive into what a rapid security response update is, you can read Howard Oakley's article here at the Eclectic Light Company, What is a Rapid Security Response Update? And he goes into well detail in here on what a rapid security response update is. Also, our very own Macola put a wonderful blog article together explaining in detail what happens during a rapid security response update. I'm going to put both of these links if you want to really go into the detail of what a rapid rapid security response update is behind the scenes. Now, what are the requirements for this brand new rapid security response update? Well, they're very clear. And the first thing is, is you have to be on macOS Ventura. Apple did not backport this new feature to macOS Big Sur or macOS Monterey. And you also have to be on the latest version of the operating system to see the update and system preferences. On my database here, which I'm going to document all the rapid response updates, 13.3.1 is the bare minimum that you need to be on before you'll see the 13.3.1a update. And Apple also has a separate update for M1 and M2 Macs and Intel Macs. So they split it off for separate downloads. Now you can click on this link here and it's a direct download to Apple's software update servers and you can look at the update. You can install it like a, a standalone installer, but at least if you wanted to inspect it and see what's going on in those updates. What happens if you don't see the rapid security response updates show up in system preferences? Well, you can close system settings and reopen it again, see if it shows up in software update. And if that doesn't show up, then you usually will fall into one of the things that we just mentioned, that you're not in the latest version, 13.3.1 or you're on a not supported operating system like Mac OS Monterey or Mac OS Big Sur. A lot of questions revolve around should you install the macOS security response update and what happens if you skip it? Where do the fixes go? Do they get applied later? Well, that is crystal clear. Well, let's say you decide to skip the 13.3.1a update. Well, all those fixes will be rolled into the next macOS release. So for example, since we're on 13.3.1, let's say 13.3.2 comes out next week. Those fixes will be rolled into there from this RSR update or they'll be rolled into 13.3.4, which will be released in a few weeks. So that's what will happen if you do not install this. But again, if you have it available, I do recommend installing it because Apple goes through to make sure that the latest system is fully secure with all the fixes in the rapid security response update. Now let's talk about automatic updates in the software update settings and you go in here and you can click the information about the automatic updates and you have install security responses and system files activated. You will see within the next day or two a notification that comes up on your Mac and this is what it will look like. The first notification will look exactly like this. It will say that the Mac OS rapid security response update will be applied to Safari the next time you quit and reopen the app. It will also be applied the next time your Mac is restarted. So let's 
look at the second message if you click on more information and that's this one right here. This is the information box that you'll get. So you have three options here with automatic updates. So you can restart now and it applies it to Safari and it'll apply it to the OS. The second one that you get, it'll update Safari, close and reopen it then restart tonight to finish the update. And then there's another message here to remind me tomorrow. Because remember, there's two parts of the RSR, like I mentioned in the very beginning. One that will be applied to the Safari framework that can be applied with just a close and reopen a Safari. And right now, all RSRs for Mac OS Ventura require a restart to be able to fully apply. So that's with the automatic updates and your options. Now let's go through a walkthrough on how to manually install a Mac OS Ventura RSR update. All we need to do is go into System Settings, click on General, and then Software Update, and you should see the Rapid Security Response Update here. Near. You'll also see a notification bar over here in red if the automatic software update is checking for updates behind the scenes and finds one. And it'll also show up in red down here in a red circle. What you'll see right away is a security response update is available. Mac OS Security Response 13.3.1a you'll see more info. So you can see more information about this. It looks just like a normal update, but you can see the A here, which differentiates the update. So we'll click install now and we'll enter in our administrator password and it'll automatically start to download the rapid security response update. And we're going to keep an eye on how long it's going to take to install the update. It's about 9.51 PM. So we'll wait for the download to finish. Then we'll start the timer to see how long this takes and follow the process here. Okay. As you can see, it's about 309 megabytes and it's almost done downloading. Then it's going to be going into the preparing mode, which is showing only five minutes to do that part, but it goes pretty quick. And then it'll show you a prompt in the upper right hand corner that the Mac is ready to restart. So we started at nine, just right at the tail end of 9.51 and we'll see how long it takes to prepare the update. Okay, we're just about two minutes above and we're just about ready to go out there. Now we've got that restart computer message that the Mac will automatically restart in 51 seconds, but we can click on that again on the button here, or you can click on restart here and it'll restart the Mac to the RSR update. We're back up. That took under 30 seconds to apply. We'll log in here, in and out, barely four minutes of installation time after the download is done. Very quick on how fast the update installs. Remember, we talked about how fast the regular updates are installed. And now we can see how fast RSR took to install. Again, very little downtime, barely four minutes total on how long it took to install both the OS and the Safari fixes. So now that we've got it installed, now let's take a look at the build version. See here, if you go into general about this Mac, you'll see that the A is now listed here under Mac OS Ventura. So you can see that the RSR is installed. You can also see the build version right here by typing SW version in terminal. And you can see the build version has changed to 22E772610A. And you can see that this new section here, product version extra was added. So you can see if there was additional RSRs installed. So Apple could next week have another vulnerability and install a new RSR and it'll be B or C even. So we'll see how many RSRs are deployed if we ever get past A. Along with the new build version of macOS Ventura, Safari was also updated and you can go into about Safari and see that it has been updated to 16.4 was what it was before in the 18.615, but it was the 110.1 that was changed and updated from the previous version. What about the Apple Silicon firmware or the T2 BridgeOS updates? Does a RSR update those? And it does not. If you get an RSR and install it, the firmware and the T2 for BridgeOS is not updated. Also, Apple does not release a updated full installer of Mac OS Ventura with the RSRs installed. Only at the point releases will get a full installer or an IPSW restore file. One of the nice features about the RSR updates on macOS is that you can uninstall them. So let's say you install the RSR and something goes wrong, like maybe Safari is crashing or something like that. You can actually uninstall it, unlike a macOS update that you cannot revert back. So how do we do that? All we need to do is go into general and then you'll see the macOS Ventura. Like we said, you can click on it to get that version number. That's a little trick. And then you can click on the I with a circle on it for more information about the update. And that's where you'll see the last security response update section where it'll show you what is installed 
and give you the remove and restart option to uninstall the rapid security response. So let's do that now. Let's click on remove and restart. It'll say remove rapid security response. Removing this re rapid security response will reduce the security of your Mac. It is only recommended if you recently experienced apps unexpectedly closing. Click on remove response and restart. So we'll need an administrator to password to do so. Click OK, and you'll see the preparing of the removal here. And we'll time that. We're at 10.03 p.m. and see how long this takes. There we go. It took about, actually about two, a little bit less than it took to install. So looks like it takes just about the same amount of time to prepare to remove the update. And we get the same kind of message that will get the complete removal. We'll click on restart from the notification and the mag will restart. And it should take just the same amount of time to remove it as it did to install. You hear the chime there and we'll see how long this takes. And we are at the login window. So it's almost instant. It's just like a restart. And there we go. Let's log back in. And now the RSR update is uninstalled. You can actually check for the update again and you'll see it here. Showing as a software update in both system settings and you can check it here in terminal and it'll show as available to be able to install again like nothing even happened. Rapid security response 13.3.1a. Now let's talk about installing a rapid security response update on an unsupported Mac with OpenCore Legacy Patcher and macOS Ventura. First of all, let's talk about which Macs are compatible with the rapid security response updates as of this version 0.6.4. If you have a Haswell Mac or newer, you can install a rapid security response and that covers around 2013 all the way to 2016, but that does not cover the Mac Pro, which is actually an Ivy Bridge processor. And I've got a Mac Pro here as our second demonstration Mac, which will show what happens if we try to install the security response. So let's go back to our 2016 MacBook Pro and show the installation process. To install the rapid security response update, we can do it the same way as we did with the supported system. Just go into system settings and then go to general and then go to software update. You'll see it check for updates and see it is available. All we need to do is apply now. It'll do the same thing as the supported device. It'll download, it'll prepare it and ask us to restart. Okay, we're back up after the install. Let's log in. Now, the first thing you have to know is that after installing the rapid security response update on an unsupported Mac, just like a Mac OS update, we have to install the root patches on the Mac to be able to bring it back to full compatibility. And there is the message we are looking for. OpenCore Legacy Patch has detected that you're running without root patches and would like to apply them for you. How nice is that? For graphics, AMD Legacy and Intel Skylake. Let's do that now. We'll type in our password. There we go. Look at that. How nice is that? Detecting that the KDK is already installed, skipping. Now it's merging with the root volume and we'll be ready to reboot. Done. Let's click reboot and restart. Okay, we're back up again. Let's log in. All right, let's click on post install root patch. And there we go. All applicable patches are already installed and we have the latest version. There we go. 13.3.1a on an unsupported Mac. How great is that? Now that we have that all installed, let's go over to our Mac Pro and see what happens if we try to install it on an unsupported system that doesn't support RSRs yet. Here's our demonstration Mac, our 2013 Mac Pro that is not compatible with the RSR updates, but we see it available and it looks like we might be able to install it. You can see the little one here. Apply now to see what happens. What it's going to do is it's going to download and begin to prepare and install the update but it will air out because again it's not compatible whether McCall and developers will figure out a way to be able to apply this is unknown right now but we know at least with Haswell or newer Macs 2013 or up it will work and there's our error fail to prepare the software update please try again and that's what you'll get if you try to install the RSR on an unsupported Mac so 2012 or older including Mac Pro 2013. Let me know in the comments if you installed the rapid security response update and it worked okay on your Mac. I'll, again, I'll leave a link to those great posts from McCola and Howard Oakley about the RSR update and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.